Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So this is a little, just a little quick video. I wanted to show you um, a customization that I'm doing using the Carrera Richard Petty cars. So here we go. So here we have a Lee Petty um, 1960 Plymouth. 1960 Plymouth Fury that I'm selling for 45 Canadian. This is not a digital car, it's just the regular analog, but I wanted to show you what car I'm using as a basis. I'm actually using a Richard Petty, because currently Carrera has so many of those they don't know what to do with them. Um, so, here I have this 1957 Ford body. This was an older Vell kit, came out in the 70s and early 80s. I think the last one was about 1994. Not totally sure on that. But as you can see, I've taken the Petty Plymouth Fury and the chassis and mounted this body onto it. I say mounted very loosely because I haven't actually totally mounted it. But here's how I did it. So first off, you need to saw off the back end of the Petty Fury on the undercarriage. Just a little piece that stuck out there. And where I cut it, it said Plymouth Fury and had a trademark under there. I cut on top of the Plymouth lettering, sawed it right across. That seemed to be the right, right amount. And then these are Plastruck tubes. Um, I think it was three, three sixteenths or something diameter. Y if you get some Plastruck, you just need to find the right size because I'm not 100% sure it packages at home. But I just cut them to the length and. What I did is I took the Petty Plymouth and I turned it upside down and I measured the length of their mounting pipes to the Plastruct. And I screwed them in underneath and I'll need to scrape the paint out of the Ford under here and then put glue on top of these and then put the Ford down and wiggle around till it's in the right location. Let that all dry and I should be able to unscrew the pegs and I'm going to cut pieces of plastic little triangles just to glue up there for extra support so if this thing falls off the table it just won't shear the body off. Now over here you can see this I-beam. I cut these posts to match the Plymouth Petty and then when I put the body on it seemed just to hang down a bit in the back sort of like a lowrider so I didn't really want that I wanted the actual forward ride height or what I thought would make a good Ford ride height. So I searched around and I found that little piece of I-beam. Another plastic piece. And now if you put that there, you can see it's got more of the proper Ford stance than Tail Dragon. And I had to put the bumper on just to make sure that the front of that petty pan here, there, fit in. And uh, I'll just unscrew the car from the base here and turn it over and let you see what that looks like. So here we are underneath the conversion and you can see that here there's a lot of room still. If you really wanted to taper the petty undercarriage you could but I mean this is quick and it, it, it won't uh, hurt it in any way. And then here I'll just turn this sideways. So you can see that that, <coughs> oh. oh boy, shake the camera, eh? You can see that the front front flash splash pan fits perfectly with that edge of the bumper. And uh, there's a lot of room when you move the uh, wheels back and forth. You line it up properly like the real Ford was. Just add your glue and you should be able to unscrew the screws. Uh, not these ones, but the mounting screws and the pegs all stay in place. Pull the body off or the, cha the frame running gear. That I-beam would be glued in there somewhere and uh, then you're supposed to be sticking out there and I'll add some supports in there just to make sure it doesn't fall over or crack off when it's race night. And then the only other thing I'd have to do is take the interior when I get that and cut it and then put a flat pan just like they did on the Petty one with a half a driver holding half a steering wheel. 
and it should clear all our running gear sit over the top like that so I'm just going to glue the body together and then give her a little test on the track okay so I did a little bit of tool work here and I just trued up the tops of the posts and then I made a couple of notches in the back of the I-beam because I found that uh, the little round tubes were sort of hitting it and making it go at a funny angle. So I just notched those, glued that on. And then inside the body, I scraped quite a bit of the paint away. Also up into the roof there, there's a bunch of those little mold circles with uh, flash hanging off them. So I sanded that down. Actually, I hit it with uh, that knife there. Just got rid of them so that when I glue the glass in, it'll be nice and flush and flat up into the top of the body. And then I had to scrape away here and at the nose there, just so that I could glue on the mounting pins. So I'll get that together and then uh, show you this thing. And here's the car here. So as you can see, the stance is pretty much right on. The only sort of fault is this back wheel's a little bit further back from the uh, the edge of the front of the rear fender well. But, I mean, what can you do? On the real Ford, this would be up almost right on top of it. However, I don't think that should affect too much for authenticity or performance. But there she is. Glue's a little soft. I don't know if I want to test running it yet. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so the glue is a little soft, so I'm just going to putter this around the track. Oops. Oh yeah, right into the dead spot. Alright, here we go. Note the great ride that a Ford gives you. Okay, let's go down here. You'll enjoy the new 1957 Ford from Ford, because Ford is good. <laughs> All right, there we go. So there you can see with just a little simple conversion, a couple of bits of plastic and a good hobby saw, a couple of knives, whatever, you can build yourself a car that, that is unique and uh, amazing. So this Ford will get painted up and driven, because we want to drive our Fords lately, or whatever. Anyway, Monster Hobbies, Trevor signing off. We'll see you soon. Bye. Find out more about Monster Hobbies by tuning into our Facebook page, Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. We've got uh, our gaming events, our, our Warhammer nights, our slot car races, and we always update that site more than our old uh, monsterhobbies.com um, internet page. So check us out there and uh, like us and friend us and share us and everything that's all fun about Facebook. And we'll see you soon at Monster Hobbies.